President and CEO of Ben Franklin Technology Partners, and uh, great to, to work with the mayor, learning all about uh, the big sport here, wrestling, uh, <laughs> for Mayor John Callahan. And of course, uh, what an inspirational speaker and what a dynamic person heading up uh, a technology for President Obama, Anish Chopra. And uh, uh, also, I have to give a, a little bit more introduction uh, to John Fernandez, who's uh, the head of the Economic Development Administration within the Department of Commerce. And uh, he's also a former mayor, as uh, Mayor Callahan indicated, uh, but from Indiana and done great, great things for his city. Uh, also really want to welcome the staff, uh, the, the head of uh, Eastern uh, Pennsylvania for Senator Specter and Senator Casey, and we had a chance to talk with them earlier, and they're really doing great things as well. Uh, I especially want to thank and acknowledge uh, Mayor Callahan, who's uh, joined us today for really spending so much time in the last decade bringing good jobs back to Bethlehem, uh, first as a city council and now as a mayor. You know, George Will, a, a noted uh, conservative columnist, calls uh, local government officials the foot soldiers of democracy. Whether you're serving as school board members, city councils, members, or mayors, you are the foot soldiers of democracy. And John, you're doing a great, great job. Thank you very much. Thank you. We come together on this uh, beautiful, beautiful setting, this mountain in beautiful Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and just looking out of the view, you know, Maybe we should be turning this thing around so you guys can look at the view there. But uh, we're talking about an incredible environment. Uh, you have a great vision of, of the valley. And we're really here to talk about the vision of the future. The future of Pennsylvania, of Bethlehem, and indeed America. Our economy is, of course, facing very, very difficult times. When President Obama took office eight months ago, many believed we were really on the cusp, on the very edge of another Great Depression, the Great Depression that my grandfather and my father lived through and that my father uh, still talks about. Uh, but the need for aggressive action was obvious, but there were also a lot of people in Congress who were saying, let the free market take care of itself, no need to intervene, we just gotta let the market work itself out. Uh, and their approach was really just standing by the sidelines and doing nothing, in fact, doubling down <coughs> on the policies that had gotten to where we uh, had arrived. President Obama very much disagreed with that proposition. Very much disagreed. Instead, he took bold steps to rescue our country from the destructive, vicious cycles that threaten the economic security of every single American, from Pennsylvania to Washington State. The administration's policies have indeed brought stability to our financial system and restored confidence in the markets. We've calmed the housing market and helped millions of Americans stay in their homes. And the President worked with the leaders of Congress, like Senator Specter and Senator Casey, to implement a very comprehensive recovery act designed to stop this economic freefall, to provide immediate tax relief for millions and millions of Americans, families, and to lay a new foundation, as Anish indicated, to make America competitive in this global high-tech 21st century economy. You know, a lot of people don't really understand that much about the Recovery Act or the stimulus package, but one-third of it, one-third of it was to provide tax relief for some 95% of American families, middle American families all across the United States. And here, just in, in Pennsylvania, some almost five million families receiving a reduction in their taxes, receiving benefits of over two and a half billion dollars so far. And then another third was provided to provide uh, uh, security for seniors on Social Security, veterans, increased veterans payments, uh, unemployment insurance for people who had lost their jobs, extended unemployment, higher unemployment checks, because those people with unemployment checks shop in malls, eat in restaurants, and support so many other businesses as well. And also relief for the states. Here in Pennsylvania, we received some one and a half, $1.6 billion just for Medicaid payments so that the poor can continue to receive their care and reimburse doctors for that care. And then, of course, the other third was for infrastructure projects, not just the roads and bridges. And, of course, uh, here in, in Pennsylvania, you got some $1.3 billion for road and bridge projects and construction of colleges and universities and schools. But more importantly, hundreds of billions of dollars around the country for the infrastructure that's needed 
to move our country into the 21st century, to lay that foundation for high quality, good paying jobs. Projects that needed to be done sooner or later, but also to move our country forward to compete against the rest of the world, to ensure that the jobs of the future are here in America and in Pennsylvania as opposed to overseas. Well, the job losses have now slowed to a third of what they were in January, and leading economic indicators have turned positive instead of negative. But the president doesn't focus on those positive signs that Wall Street uh, looks at. The president is very much concerned about the high unemployment rate in America and, and here in Pennsylvania. Millions of people, too many, are still out of work. Too many are still worried about their future.